smells beautiful. We are gonna cover matters of the heart right now, both with a great event for Valentine's and opening your heart to help others in our community. Kirsten Peregrina and John Decker are here to tell us about the Foothills Club of Tucson's largest annual fundraiser. You guys, first of all, thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. You're welcome. I said it looked like uh, Valentine's Day has just exploded <laughs> in the studio today. This is such a beautiful setup and we're going to be talking about the event, but let's really learn a little bit about uh, the Foothills Club, about them first. Sure. Uh, we are a nonprofit. We're a local nonprofit. Uh, we were founded back in 2007. We're about 80 members now and, wow. and our main goal is to support other nonprofits here in the community. So specifically those that are benefiting children. Okay, and that's kind of what I was saying uh, just a moment ago about opening your heart uh, yeah. to helping others. Tell me a little bit more about the funds uh, that you raise and where they go. Sure, so through our two big events, which uh, the first one we're gonna be yes. talking about, uh, and then a golf event, uh, we raise money throughout the year and then we give that away the following year. Oh, and okay. so the, mon the money that we raised last year, we're now giving away, and that's about $41,000 this year. Wow. Yeah. And so, like I said, we're going to get to go to a great event, but we're going to know that those funds also go sure. to do something really great in our community. So w how long have we been doing this event, actually? So this is our eighth annual. This is eight. This is our eighth year doing this. So first, when it started out, it was just a, a members-only event that, oh. yeah, it was only open for members. But as we've grown significantly, it's now become our biggest fundraiser, and now it's open to the Tucson community. Well, we want to, of course, take advantage of the fact that we can now come in <laughs> and be a part of this. So describe to me what it would be like if I come to the event. So it's a semi-formal event, and guests can expect um, an amazing dinner. There's going to be a raffle. There's going to be a live chef's auction. We're actually auctioning off five signature chefs from around Tucson, and the highest bidder on those chefs will win a private dining experience at the home. And there's also going to be dancing, photo booth, and just so much more. Wow. And I was looking at that picture. I, I recognize some of those chefs. Yes, so you guys yeah. really bring in the, uh, the big guns <laughs> yes, for this. Here, yeah. So not only do you guys have great things happening at the event, but tell me about the venue, because that's even special in itself. So we're doing it at a different venue this year. It's Site 17 Event Center. It's close to downtown, Broadway and Euclid. It's this vintage warehouse, mm -hmm. and it just has this romantic, rustic charm to it. So we're really excited. Oh. Now, you brought a basket here. Yes. Uh, is this uh, having to do with something? Yes, yeah, so this is a sample of our raffle items. Okay. We have just tremendous support from different businesses around Tucson this year. And this is just an example of one of the many raffle items that we're going to have there. We're going to be selling raffle tickets at our event. And all of our attendees are going to have the option to win one of those prizes. I love this. We could walk away with something possibly, have a great evening. Fellows right. are going to score points by taking uh, your honey to something Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> Takes yes. the planning out of it. It's, exactly. it. it's already set up. It's it's fantastic. I just realized that I'm, I'm wearing a dress that I totally mix in with, uh, with everything. Would you really say that this event is just really unique, not only in, in the event itself, but even for this holiday? Absolutely. You know, I it's something non-traditional to do for Valentine's yeah. Day and it's, you know, let us do the planning for you. Yeah. So just show up. You know, you have an amazing dinner. Um, Chef Chic, she's actually providing the dinner for the venue and we have raffle items, the opportunity to bid on a chef and it's just for a great cause. So it's just so unique. In that yeah. Sense. Now, I know we were saying this is one of two of your big fundraisers. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to support your mission throughout the year, know more about the other events, how can we do that? Is the best thing to do is to keep up to date on the website? Yeah, the Foothills Club of Tucson org is the best place to to get all that information. Um, go to our Facebook page. You can just look us up at uh, Foothills Club of Tucson on Facebook, um, and then just follow yeah. us. Yeah, it's that's probably the easiest way to do it. Awesome. Well, we're gonna make sure everyone continues to support you year round. So you guys, thank, thank you. you so much, and again, thank you for my. You bet. Said I feel like a beauty queen <laughs> today. The eighth annual Love on the Rocks is taking place February 11th from 6 to 11 p.m. at 840 East 17th Street. For more details, call 808-7395 or visit foothillscluboftucson.org.